Hello and I am back from my hiatus and as you can see I am trying out something new and in this video I would like to show to you one of the more useful features of my Kali Net Hunter phone and that is hijacker for Wi-Fi hacking. Now I am using a Nexus 5 because the internal Wi-Fi of this has a monitor mode but if you don't have this type of phone, you can always use an OTG cable with a Wi-Fi adapter with a monitor mode. And the list of Wi-Fi adapter that is supported by Kali Linux will be in the description below. Now let's have a quick refresher of the most basic Wi-Fi attack. And the main purpose of this attack is to capture the four-part handshake that the device uses to authenticate to the router. Now, it is done by using your Kali NetHunter phone and it is sending a de-authentication um, signal to the AP which causes the device to disconnect. And once it's disconnected, most of the device has this auto-reconnect by default. And it will try to resend all of these um, packets again. And by the time that all of the packets are being resended, that's the time when your internal Wi-Fi adapter or your Kali Net Hunter device will be listening and capturing all of these packets. Now, these packets are being used to decrypt the password that is being used on this router. Now with that out of the way, Hijacker can be found on the Kali Net Hunter App Store. So let's go to Apps and click Hijacker. Okay, so Hijacker is an Android application that gives you a more phone compatible interface to execute the commands. Um, but behind of it, it's just the aircraft, aerodump, MDK3 and river commands that is being executed. Now, let's start high chapter. Okay, so when it starts by default, it will run air replay. What air replay does is that it lists down all of the Wi Fi access point that is available, including information like security use, signal strength, and the devices connected to it. Now, here I have my own access point and a cell phone connected to it. So it's what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the Wi-Fi access point and click watch. Okay, the first thing that we will do is to disconnect the you call it the device. Okay. So as you can see, the device is connected to the access point. And what we'll, we'll do is, so let's go here and check this out. So currently it is connected. And here we will be right click and click disconnect. And as you can see, instantly the device got disconnected from the router. Now, once you disconnect a device, even if it tries to reconnect, it will have a hard time connecting to the access point again. So what we're gonna do, let's just reset the router and proceed with the next attack. Okay, so another attack that you can do is a DDoS attack. Now, what it does is that it simulates several devices trying to connect to that access point. So let's just start it up. And sometimes that is enough to take down the router. And what it means is that any connected router will have a hard time accessing the internet. And if there are any other devices that would try to connect to the access point, it will not be able to do so. Okay, so as you can see, 
it is still going up so that we now have 20 devices let's just go out and try to go in so if we click watch there's around 45 devices now trying to connect to it 6771 okay and that is the DDoS attack let's just click stop now and reset the router again and the last attack is this button called crack okay so here we will try to or it will try to de-authenticate here the device so it will be disconnected and it will try to reconnect again and by the time that it will be reconnecting our Kalinet Hunter is now listening to the router trying to intercept the packets that this one is being sent so let's try it out so here I will be clicking crack and as soon as I click that as you can see there that is where the what you call it the cup file being um, stored and if we try to connect while the attack is still happening as you can see you will not be able to reconnect on it and you're just sending all of those handshake and this one is being um listened to so now that it is it is finished as you can see it has connected successfully again to the router now you can see the cup file if you go to um let's see let's go to file manager and under hijacker under capture files you can see all of the cup files that you have and the handshake this is the one that you can save on your computer check on check using wireshark if you have all of the four um parts of the handshake and that is the one that you can use uh on jack the reaper to decrypt the password now Three important things that you should know. One, the fewer the devices, the less likely that you will be capturing the four parts of the handshake that you needed to decrypt the password. Two, the fastest way to decrypt a password is using a word list. Three, if the password is not on a word list, you will need a powerful computer to brute force the password which is most of the time not worth it now final note as you have seen on my video where i evaluate a wi-fi on a supermarket i am very very careful not to interrupt the wi-fi service because there are some pos connected to the wi-fi and i don't want to cause an interruption of the service and do not do these hacks or attacks on network that you don't own or you don't have any permission to. And by doing this, it will keep you out of trouble. And with that, I am very happy to be back. And if you have some questions, don't be shy to put it on the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.